Good afternoon everybody. My name's Cliff Austin and welcome to another video of Painting 30 Paintings in 30 Days, part of the Create 30 Challenge promoted by Alan Picard. This piece is going to be a simple flowery piece that I've modified just a little bit. So we're painting flowers on a cold sunny day in my basement. If you're interested in seeing more of my work, go ahead and look at uh, please look at cliffaustin.com. You can also find some pieces at Mary Williams Fine Arts in Boulder, Studio 8369 in Grand Lake, um, Creative Framing Art Gallery in Louisville. Please make a comment on Instagram, Facebook, or uh, YouTube. Um, I'm using Gamblin paint, and this is a little out of the ordinary to do flowers and such, but on a cold, snowy day, it seemed a real mood-changing, brightening kind of feeling. Um, so welcome to video number six and um, painting number 12 of the 30-day painting challenge. We are going to uh, just have a little bit of fun and just go really, really fast. I'm painting in the afternoon because this morning we had some technical difficulties and we're trying another method of painting and so we're just going to try and get some of this on the canvas as fast as possible. This I hope will be a very short video. I'm starting with a uh, soft kind of grayish purple because there's going to be so much yellow in here. And I want everything soft in the background. Maybe it should look a little better if it were maybe a little bit more blue. Something like that. And we've got this really nice green effect right through here. Maybe a little bit lighter, huh? We'll try a little bit lighter. Yeah, something like that. For now. And we'll keep it really, really loose. Pretty much nondescript. And as it comes forward, it's going to get to be a little bit more intense. A little bit greener. So for those of you who are very tight painters and would like to loosen up, one exercise that I suggest doing is give yourself a time limit. Tell yourself you're going to only paint for maybe 10 minutes. Finish a painting. Start to finish in 10 minutes or 15 minutes. There are some wonderful painters who can paint um, very quickly when they're doing competitions and such or plein air quick draw effects. And then there are some painters who just really like to take their time. I'm a very impatient painter, so I like to see results fairly quickly. This canvas I'm working on is a fairly heavily textured piece, a uh, heavily textured canvas that's been painted on already. And I didn't like the results, so I'm going to paint over it. So I've laid in my background of sorts. And now we're going to start diving into a little bit more specifics, specific shapes. I'm trying to keep it purposefully soft. Um, now I'm going to get into some of these darker centers, shapes of these flowers. 
and just want to find some locations in here. Just give myself an orientation. See what happens here. Got this nice little petal going over there, going in there. I just want to make an impression, an indication of a shape. Get the shape going there. Use lots of paint. Don't let the paint stand in for the shape that you're trying to make. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. a flat brush, which I like to use a lot. I'm just using basically one color at this time, one value, one color, just for now, just to lay in these shapes. Just to get an idea of where I'm going with these pieces. And I'll go back in and darken and lighten as I need.
We need a lot more paint. If you can, sometimes it takes practice, but if you can, just make a mark and leave it alone. Mix some more paint and make a mark. Mix some paint and put it on the canvas. A lot of novice painters have a tendency to mark and mark and mark and mark and mark. But if you can, try an exercise where you just mix up some paint and make a mark. Mix up some paint and make a mark. No more than two or three. Better still is just to make one mark. And then we can go back in and put some different values in there. So on this side we've got shadows. We're just going to make that a little bit darker. A little bit darker. Maybe a little bit warmer. Do a nice accent this way. Just have some fun here. So again, mix up some paint and make a mark. I modified this drawing just a little bit and brought the flowers up a little bit higher to improve the composition. Just for fun. Mix up some paint, make your mark. Now you can start refining the pieces and parts that are there. You might want to use a smaller brush. You might want to use some more color. And getting to the point where this piece is starting to look like we actually know what we're doing. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Put a little bit of smaller information in there. It's 
smaller information kind of means detail. And we use that detail as design spots. We don't want to put everything in there, but we do want to put some stuff in there that would help emphasize and clarify the story or the image that we're trying to convey. where you put those pieces, those little specific pieces of information, will really help determine the quality of the painting. I really should emphasize that less is more. So the less information you can put in, the more impactful the image will be. And I'm going to go back and put in some lighter pieces. Just some little design shots in there. to the point where we really just need to stop and I'll finish this at the uh, off camera and I'll try and post this on Instagram and Facebook however I am experiencing some technical difficulty with memory and my cameras so this painting has been painted twice this today first time it came out all right but it wasn't recorded properly and so I'm doing it again this is take two ever had one of those days today is one of those days See what happens with that. Thank you for viewing. Please comment on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Let me know how I'm doing, if I'm getting the right ideas across. If you're getting a lot out of this, please let me know. And if you think there's ways I can improve, please let me know that way as well. And everyone just have a great day. Stay warm, stay safe.